All right, guys, it is a new year. Happy New Year 2024. And I don't know about you, but I am so ready to get back to Halloween, to get back to everything Spirit Halloween, and unboxing some awesome animatronics. So today, we are going to be unboxing this fine fellow right here, Poor George, also known as Gorgeous George, and sometimes even known as Curious George. <laughs> No, not that guy. This guy right here. Let's take a close-up look. This is poor George from Spirit Halloween 2023. He is a crazy evil clown who also has a happy face on the other side. Dang, look at that face. He definitely needs the Aquafresh. His name is Poor George. Let's just read the box here. Torso flips 360 degrees to reveal his alternate face, which, as I said, that's a mean one. The other one's a happy one. Laughs maniacally as he flips, stands four feet two inches tall, and he stands on his hands because he has no butt. He has no legs either, but you have to have a butt in order to have legs, I think at least. Anyway, poor George has no legs and no butt. So let's spin the box around here. We have the picture of poor George over here, just like on the front. We keep spinning. You can see that he was $179.99 in the store. And as always, you can get a 20% off coupon, whether you're shopping in the store or online. We have the story of poor George right here on the back, which you can read on the box right there, or you can go to the website. We have some extra information down here about poor George. He is sensor activated, uses an adapter that plugs into the wall. He has volume control, external speaker jack if you want to hook up bigger, louder speakers, step pad compatible, try me button compatible, multi-prop remote activator compatible, and for indoor or covered porch use only. That's debatable because a lot of people like to leave their animatronics outside even when it rains. I don't like to do that. I will leave mine inside because I want them to last forever. Let's keep spinning the box and on this side you can see we have a picture of this face on a poor George. That is the smiley happy face. I mean if that's happy then I guess that's happy. <laughs> laughs maniacally as he flips. And here is a picture of him upside down doing exactly that, laughing maniacally as he flips. And back around to the front, there is our favorite friend, poor George. Maybe not the favorite friend, but he definitely is one of our favorite friends. So let's go ahead and get down to unboxing this guy right here. I have not had him out of the package at all yet. On the inside of every animatronic from Spirit Halloween, you do have a number for the zombie squad in case you happen to get two left feet or something's broken when you're putting your animatronic together. This guy slides right out of here and it's all in one box. Wow, that is super convenient, guys. And the first thing we have is the part of poor George that has been sliced off, removing his butt and his legs. <laughs> we got some Velcro around there. We have his shoulders. Maybe these are his shoulders. I'm not sure what these are. We have his hands. I almost said they're his feet, but poor George doesn't have feet. But look how long and creepy those hands are. What the heck, man? Those are scary alone. You could just put these in a box and sell them as scary hands. <laughs> poor George's head in a bag. Oh, look at this. This is the best part, man. Look at, first of all, look at his hair. He looks like Lucille Ball. <laughs> All right, let's shake it out a little bit. There we go, that's better. We got the happy face on the front and we got the mad face on the back. Maybe he's not mad, but he's definitely like saying something deadly. Wait a minute, I never realized he has two different color eyes. Look, he has a red eye and a yellow eye, and it's the same on both sides. Man, this guy is awesome. I am so glad I bought him. So there's his head, there's his head bag, here's his clothes, we got the instructions in there, a couple pieces of foam, and then we have his base, and the other parts which are zip tied in there, so I gotta get a razor. Power box in here is voice box. A little piece, there's the power adapter, his base here in a couple pieces, and parts for his arms, I guess. I love the I love how the instructions for spirit animatronics are always in full color. 
and very well detailed. Just run through these real quick, make sure we have everything. We got that, 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 those, that, that, the double head and his clothes. So we're good to go. Let's go ahead and get this guy set up. Okay, so the first part is the base. Apparently just snaps together very easily here. Here's that. Wires come out the back. Spooky hands go on next. Is that right? It must go like this because it looks like his hands cover those things. Yeah, okay. Attach the long round metal poles to the base. Attach the short metal poles to the long round poles. All right. All right, there we go so far. Put the arm foams over the metal poles. All right, so these are the arm foams. Put the sleeves over the arms. Attach a control box part to the half shoulder forms. Guess that would be these. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay. There's one, two, I guess that's it. Okay, connect these onto here. Two, okay. So these wires must come up through the hands, through the arms, and connect up here. Stick it on there and connect it here. That way you won't see the wire when you pull the sleeve up. Okay, snap the blister shoulder part to the control box. And that would be this part right here. All right, that snaps right into place. Attach the square metal pole to the red blister torso form. So that would be this right here. All right. Attach the opposite end to the control box. Okay. Connect the sensor wire from the shirt to the control box. There's the wire and that plugs in right there. All right, that makes it so much easier. That slips right over the arms, Velcro's all the way down. And then the front has Velcro too, all around this part. Here we go. Attach the head. You wanna make sure that hair is nice and crazy too. All right. <laughs> and it looks like you can put this on either way. If you want the mad face in front or the happy face in front, it doesn't matter. All right, he's coming along. We're almost there. All right, so the last part is the adapter, and that plugs in by his hand. So right here on his right hand. All right, so that's where that plugs in. Okay, I got him all plugged in. I hooked up a step pad to him. I had the sensor on, but I couldn't get him to shut up. And every time I went to unplug him on the inside to hook up the sensor, he would just start going again. So we got the step pad hooked up. Let's go ahead and check out poor George. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so awesome. Guys, he is so incredibly loud. All right, let's just take a look at him. There's his long, thin, creepy hands all the way up to his ugly, mean face and his teeth that definitely need the aqua fresh all right let's go ahead and get him going so we can see the other face there he goes <laughs> here we go oh my gosh Guys, I only have him turned up about a quarter of the way. He is so absolutely loud, but I love him so much. Guys, these animatronics are always so different when you see them online, and then you see them in the store, and then when you actually bring them home and set them up in your own house. So I can tell you this, online the videos are cool, in the store they're really fun to see because it's like you're walking through a haunted house. But when you bring these things home and you set them up in your own house, 
you see just how big they really are and how loud they really are. Look at that guy's face. Oh my gosh. And let's just come around and look at the other face on this side. I kind of want to switch it around so this is the face you see all the time. And then when he spins, you see the mean face. Because I think I like this one better. You guys tell me, do you like this face better or this one? <laughs> all right, guys, there he is. Poor George. He was really fun to put together. He's fun to have set up here. I'm not going to take him down yet. I'm going to leave him up. I might even make some more videos with him because he's so awesome. But for now, I'm going to leave you with this. <coughs> Ha ha ha!